next couple of years in Blood Bowl 3, or I'll let you start. Thanks. Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 51. First round match between Mad Jake and his Wood Elves, and Kla Klang and his High Elves. Uh, in the booth with me is Calcium. Hello. Ah oh, yeah. How you doing? Oh yeah, not bad. How are you, sir? Awesome. I oh. cannot wait to commentate on this game. Four. It looks to be a pretty wild team. Kla Klang has got High Klang and has a wizard and a babe. Mad Jake has an Adjup dancer, a frenzy dancer, a guard catcher, and uh, Kla Klang has a very nice uh, high off catcher. Here we go. Look. Move 9, Adj 5, dodge, sprint sure feet, but not move 10, but uh, near Natty. And a mighty blow tackler, so it's pretty cool. They've, and a blood step yeah. guarder, so they've they've both got, you know, a guard each and add five each and some tools. It's pretty interesting, I think. They look pretty even, don't they? Mm. Oh, 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 you know, I'm um, sort of just having a, a scan of both teams. There's not a lot between them. Um, one of the players that really leaps off the pitch at me, Jim, is the mighty blow tackle catcher. Is mm. is it a catcher? It is a catcher, it is isn't a it? Catcher, yeah. Yeah, um, obviously that one player could cause real carnage, you know. Um, the tree's about as much use as a fart in an astronaut suit this game, and then, <laughs> you know. Just hopefully um, twat magnet a few high elves up, but interesting how the um, wood elf has placed uh, an, uh, another player adjacent to the tree to try and make dodging out a little bit more difficult. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah. Because so ideally you, you want to make it hard enough that he does it last, and then hopefully you fail something before he does it, and then you get to smash him to bits. Yeah. But we know that Mad Jake can play, can't we? We, you know, he's um, pretty well established as a good coach. Yeah, usually with Pro Elves, obviously he should do better with Wood Elves because they're a real team and not shithead Pro Elves. <laughs> 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 so of course he blitzes the guy who is stopping them coming out. Yeah, um, to yeah. Get them out. But this is uh, there's, has he got one move left? No, he doesn't. So he's yeah. This is the problem. The problem with blitzing with the mighty blow was you'd really want to get one more square away, right? Blitzing with the mighty blow. So maybe he shouldn't have blitzed with the mighty blow. I, I would have blitzed with this wrestler here, honestly. Yeah. Also. Blitz, I, I, I know why he blitzed that player there, but blitzing a wrestler as well is just... Yeah. I guess that was his only real option, because as I say, he doesn't want to give himself a free plus, does he? Although, right, I guess, this guy doesn't matter if you roll once. <laughs> yeah, why, why not dodge out with a blodger first? That's, yeah, uh, yeah. Not what I would have done. <laughs> Maybe he wanted to keep the bludger on the... Tree, but I mean, I don't think you want to keep your guys getting hit on purpose by the tree. Like, it's one of the few ways it can be relevant is by punching things, so. Especially when a single assist gives you a free D against exactly, him. Exactly, yeah. I was just having an internal debate in my head then, Jim, about which team I want to die more horribly this game. And it's a really, really tough decision, i got to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sort of leaning towards the Wood Elves dying more horribly, if I'm honest. I, I have a little bit more internal hatred for Wood Elves than I do for High Elves. <laughs> and when I say hatred, I mean burning, raw, passionate hatred. <laughs> you know, um, obviously, Elves. <laughs> oh my god. Brilliant. Um, are you Kla Klang, Chiagant? Or are you just like saying if you were him? Everyone's got ults now and I don't know who anybody is. That's something that we've never done, isn't it, Jim? Um, I've mm. never been interested in running an alt account. No, no. Never been, never been good enough to run an alt account, to be fair. <laughs> 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 That's probably the main reason behind it, you know, but yeah, I, I couldn't be less interested. Why is he? Oh, I don't know about basic. Why? What's the point? What's the point? Yeah, and no, I don't really don't like, I really don't like basing the tree. I really, I like, I hate it. Yeah, I, hate I hope it that I, yeah, I hope he gets removed and killed, you know, yeah. bent in half. 
Yeah. Yeah, me too. Fucking die, elf. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Eat bark. <laughs> <laughs> The thing about that tree man, oh god. <laughs> the thing about the tree man is, his bark's worse than his bite. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Jim, Jim, what was what this about? This just peered up in your chat. Oh, the apology, yeah. You, well, you know, uh, you know. I haven't seen this apology yet. What's this about? <laughs> oh, uh, you know, David Williams. Um, he like. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he did like that state, like he did his apology oh, yeah, thing. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, so PC gotcha, did gotcha. one similar, taking the piss. Ah, <laughs> right, gotcha. Oh yeah, gotcha. <laughs> oh, I hit that follow. And this is very weak now, magic, and yep, instantly cl clang. Has identified this, powered him, and will be pouring through this gaping pool. Gaping pool. Hmm. So maybe it was a good idea to get your players pounded on three dice by Mighty Blow. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> yeah, what do we know? <laughs> God, that other catch is really nice, isn't it? The movement of Hachi. Yeah, incredible. Really nice. Sprint as well. Yeah. Really nice. Oh god, it's GFI. I quite liked um, handing off to that, you know, this, the, the yeah, move one. Yeah. And then that made, that would have made everything a bit safer. Um, oh god, that was so bad, that GFI, wasn't it? He did, literally didn't need to do that, that yeah. way as well. Yeah, but he could, everyone could have just been one over, couldn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah that... Mm. In hindsight, that could have cost him everything there, couldn't it? <laughs> it could have done, yeah. Yep, yeah. yeah, it could have. <laughs> Bark's empty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was pretty funny to be. <laughs> Bark. <laughs> um, and, that, and now the tree's gone stupid, see? Like, uh, or well, rooted. Not stupid, rooted. Now the tree's rooted and it's like... You didn't need to get anyone punched for that to happen. Oh, here we go. Yep, he's got the count cancel assist, and then he's got the leap in and the 1D, and the tackle gets the pow, and then the, the oh, wow. guard catches it. <laughs> what a scumbag. Yeah. See, it's I would have liked a H cage, funnily enough. He's got the players for it. He could have had a H cage, yeah. right? Yeah, he could have, yep. Yeah. I'd yeah. feel bad for the Wood Elves there, because... You know, fuck war dancers. <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah. just hate them so much. Yeah. So in case nobody knows what the HK cage is, if you've got three players in the front and three players behind, and then the ball there, and, and one of these two is guard, then you can only hit from two player, two squares, and they'd be guard. And so you just couldn't have done it. But um, this worked out. This has worked out okay for Clan so far. But he's in a bit of a pickle, isn't he? His ball carrier is caged by uh, by Wood Elves instead of High Elves. This is this is almost like a reverse cage, isn't it? It's like mm. yeah, it's a bit weird, isn't it? He's got some work to do. Mm. Gets the power. If in doubt, just roll sixes, Jim. Yep, I mean, it's a pretty good it's a pretty good plan, honestly. I wish I could do it more often. Yeah. <laughs> Is he gonna score here? Or... It looks like he is. Uh, yeah, do you know what? Because stalling a turn here when you can't throw up a really effective cage is dangerous, isn't it? So I think scoring is the right thing to do. Mm. Um, were you not listening quite to what I said? I, I literally explained the H cage. I literally explained the H cage and why it's better than a Venger bus in that situation. But never mind. <laughs> you can watch the VOD. <laughs> I'm not going to say literally exactly the same thing like a minute later. <laughs> 
So yeah, bangs it in early. I mean, he's got the wizard to like maybe turn over and stuff. So it's not like this is kind of cool, isn't it? You know, giving them four turns, but you've got three turns to score back yourself. It's not. Um, it's not as bad as you would think. Scoring early in this situation. Jim, scenario here, right? Would you go for the quick counter as would elves to try and give yourself two, maybe three turns to turn them over, or would you just try to stall out the half? Oh, I'd definitely try to stall out the half, yeah, 100%. But it's risky, isn't it? Like, that's the thing, is the problem is he's got the wizard, like, so this is maybe genius from the elves, uh, the click clang here, yeah. because the, I, yeah, I definitely want to stall out, but then that stalling out is what opens you up to a wizard, isn't it? So. It was yeah. a good turn five score, wasn't it? Turn five, it's given the Wood Elves a problem. If it was turn four, the Wood Elves would have more than enough time to quickly counter score and then push the High Elves. But off, off turn five, moving into turn six, they, they probably haven't. Mm. It's very interesting. Super interesting, as Kaylon would say. <laughs> it actually is. Um, yes, Christopher Bengston, they fucking should. They fucking should. <laughs> Scumbag chat. <laughs> should absolutely. <laughs> Do you know what? If the chat hasn't learned by now that Jimmy is always right, then what are you even watching? Seriously. Come on. <laughs> sort it out, all right? Yeah. I hate the chevrons with a spread LOS because it just, it's just a gaping hole in the middle, isn't it? But yes, well said. Thank you, Kelsey. <laughs> <You're welcome. laughs> Yeah, I'd, like you just can't afford this, right? Because it's just players in behind like this too easy. Like, okay, it means you can hit one of them and, and mark the other, but like it is a threat. It is a threat. Like you know, a lot of the time, you know, on a near turn drive, you'd ignore these two players and just play normally, but you can't ignore them in this situation. Why did he push that high off diagonally? Why didn't he push him across the LOS? I don't to know. Make that much more difficult. I don't know. Not I don't know, Jeff. <laughs> Misclick. I, I don't know, yeah, but... Is the only sensible explanation. Yeah, there's almost no point to show. Yeah, spreading the LOS of the Chevron seems terrible, yeah. Because it's the compact LOS that, like, solidifies the centre, isn't it? Ooh, is he gonna blitz the uh No. Oh, the old wood elf switcheroo coming up. Mmm. It's pretty good having lots of fast players, isn't it? Yeah. Even the tree. Tagging too. Hey. Hey. And that pro now that prone wood elf, if he behaves and stands up, he's gonna cause a bit of positional problems, isn't he? Mmm. And the only thing is the wizard, I guess, right? He's really got to think about the wizard every turn here, yeah. Matt Jake, because yeah. the wizard can lead him going at 2-0 down, so he's got to really watch for that. I mean, it might be a whiz here. Yep, there it is. Because the Arch 5 is right here with the 2 plus to get out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not surprised about the wizard there, really. Why not carry a dancer? Because of the wiz. <laughs> this is dangerous, though, blitzing the, uh, wi the wood elf, the wood elf, the dancer, because you can sidestep and scatter and. Uh, you know, like he could have sidestepped to here, couldn't he? And then the scatter could have made it worse. I think I would have blitzed this guy so that, you know, you'd have just had the two plus and then the straight in. Oh, wow, and he double ones anyway. Oh, oh. man. Oh, man. That, feel, that feels bad, doesn't it? That, yeah, that's, that's pretty rotten. Cool. That's rotten. I didn't really like his blitz and his plan in general, but that double one was just fucking horrible. But that's Blood Bowl, isn't it? You know, you're going to have, as elves, you're going to have to make those critical two pluses, and sometimes you will double one them. Wow. 
And when you do double one them, calcium will love it. <laughs> do you know what, Jim? I was literally just thinking about a Facebook post that I saw very recently in the Blood Bowl community. You know, there's various ones. I think this one is the one run by uh, Mike Davis, you know, the one where you can't swear or say anything bad. You know? <laughs> and, um, you know, loads of people in there all the time are going, oh, Elves is so difficult. What if you roll double ones? And I really want to say, fucking deal with it, bitch. <laughs> you know? Honestly, it, their, their tears are like a fine wine that I just enjoy ingesting, you know. And, yeah, so fucking Elves, honestly. I love it when Elf players cry about rolling skulls. I really do. Oh, it's too brilliant. <laughs> Great to have you back, Cassio. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow, double one. Glorious. Yeah, keep the double ones coming. <laughs> the only thing missing there was a death. That's the only thing missing off that little little bit of play there. Oh man, that's brutal, isn't it? The last roll he, the last the last thing he did on the previous turn was roll double one, and the first thing he rolled on the next turn is double one. So he's essentially rolled quad ones. Flip me. <laughs> Coaches are more intelligent, sophisticated, and skilled. Breed. Yeah, yeah, that that isn't up for debate, right? I absolutely <laughs> agree with every word of that sentence you've made there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. <laughs> there you go, so it's 1 1. That's a really successful drive from the Wood Elves there, isn't it? Wizard Burn. Um, you know, no damage taken. Thank you very much. Yep, and now they're, re now they're receiving, so yep, it's looking really nice for Magic. Ah, this so, is really nice. Yeah, so now I like the quick score. I like the two turn. And then really get in the high elf faces. Really give them a hard time. Mm. Channel your inner in Aryan. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Like, it's fine to score early now, isn't it? Because, like, it's not it's not losing him the game if he scores, whereas not scoring yeah. can lose him the game. So, yeah it's, yeah, it's fine to just bang it in when you get the chance. Safely, I would say. What What's the Hugh Lander? I have no idea. Um, um, I've been away for a bit, and I. Yeah, there was. It was last season. I think it was only last season. I don't know if it's going to continue, because uh, it was just done by Ordont. Ordont, uh, like you know, like the Highlander. Um, yeah, yeah, somebody yeah. was the Hugh Lander, and whoever ended the season as the Hugh Lander uh, won a hundred dollars, which was very nice. Which was Mankiss, oh, wow. I believe. Yeah, and so like you know, it was a, to encourage sniping and banter. Amazing. I love sniping, right? I just think it's one of the best things in Blood Bowl. Again, watching people cry about being sniped is just amazing. I love it, honestly. It, it's like cheese and crackers for me. I can eat it all day, seriously. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, he said he's not continuing. It's fair enough, yeah. But it was nice, it was nice that it happened, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah, indeed. Like you know, hopefully, hopefully it will get run again by somebody else. That was a good, uh, good idea, but uh, it was great at first, wasn't it? Rick was hilarious. Rick was hilarious. He was just like spinning halflings and stuff, and like spinning all different teams so that some people couldn't snipe him with what they were thinking, and like you know, concealing what he was spinning. So Rick was a great choice to start off as the Hulander. Um, Amazing. <laughs> um, Rick is Rick is the best of us in Blood Bowl, isn't he? He really just loves the game. Not only is he really good, <laughs> he just loves the game as well. And he'll he'll play anything. Unlike us, Jim, you know, there there are things that we'll never touch in there. I you will know, fucking um, drop kick you know, Jesus. Uh, for me, for me, one is high elves. And what kind of idiot plays high elves? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Completely fair, I can't argue with you. <laughs> <laughs> Only a complete dickhead would play high yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what a sociopath. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh dear. I've, I've never really played orcs, actually. Um, oh. Never really got on with them. I've never played lizards. Wow. Yep, never played lizards. Just can't get on with them. Um, you know, I enjoy watching people play lizards. Especially if it's 1500 plus where lizards become very ineffective. Um, you know, but then... Are, are lizards a part of Blood Bowl 3 yet? They are, aren't they? Um, not Blood Bowl 3. No, I mean, they're Blood Bowl 2020, but not Blood Bowl 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Be interesting to see how they perform with no claw palm ruining their day. Mmm. I think they'll be uh, pretty good. Yeah. <clears throat> Skinks can just get plus at plus AV, right? <laughs> Skinks. Skinks can just be eighty k for six two three nine. <laughs> Makes them pretty amazing, doesn't it? I, do you know what? I, I would love to see plus armor becoming a real thing. I really would. Yeah, I think it will. I think it will. But like again, like only after you finish the play, you know. So like if you think, like you probably might, you probably want to just make them sneaky, get dirty players actually and stuff, and you know, sidestep. Like a sidestep is really good, but you know, skinks are the ones are the ones where you just don't really want to level them. So yeah, AV seems a great fit for them. I guess plus plus movement as well, right? You could have a plus movement while they sprint your feet, that sort of thing. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'd be quite up for just plus AV skinks. Well, the fact that plus AV is now a more viable option, you know, obviously in the face of claw palm, plus AV was worthless, wasn't it? Mm. Just would be worthless, which I always disagreed with. I always thought that plus AV should be a permanent defense against claw pom you know but then you've got the issue of dwarf spamming plus av to counter claw pom haven't you so you know everything that you're given in blood bowl there's you know like physics there's an equal and opposite reaction isn't there you know uh, i think that's what's happened at the moment with blood bowl 3 you know the fact that you're given dwarves and likes dwarves and orcs so much you've got to be careful what you wish for you know all these Indeed. people that Wish for claw palm to no longer be a thing for piling on, you know, pixel hugging bell ends. Um, you know, yeah, be careful what you wish for. Yeah, that's a big thing. You know, everyone's saying about how much they want redraft, and it's like, well, if you want redraft, you'll just get min max terror dwarves, you know? Yeah. And if yeah, you don't get cool. redraft, then you'll get monster orcs. So, like, neither one's particularly fucking appealing. <laughs> yeah. No. Honestly, with redrafting, right, you just well change the name of Blood Bowl to Purple Chest. Seriously, just call it Purple Chest. Because <laughs> that's, that's what it will be. It will be Purple Chest, won't it? It'll, you, you'll, you'll, you'll have like a monopoly on it. <laughs> Blood Bowl Purple Chest Edition. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Pedro, I hear you. I, I'm... I'm, a, I'm the jury's out for me. I haven't played anywhere near enough of the new rule set to really fall one way or the other with regards to it. And I'm what I don't want to do is I don't want to absolutely piss all over him just for the sake of pissing over him. You know, I'm I, I, I'm going to have to play it and then I'll make a decision as to whether I really like it or not. You know, um, Christ, Jim knows this. My favourite edition of all time was LRB4. You know, so um, no other edition since then has quite matched the fun I got out of Blood Bowl during LRB4, but, you know, we, hey, we still got Blood Bowl, the fact it's supported the way it is, is great, so, we, you know, we have to accept that sometimes an addition's going to come out that you don't like so much, and then you've got a choice to make, haven't you, whether you decide to play on with it or not. Yeah, yeah, I, I think I would be a lot, like, I'm enthusiastic about us getting, you know, a rule set that isn't a fucking over a decade old, you know? Yeah, as as much as like um, as much as I, well, I, would, I think I, I think if I played more fumble, I'd be more upset about the downgrade from Blood Bowl twenty sixteen to Blood Bowl twenty twenty. I think it is a downgrade from twenty sixteen to twenty twenty, but I think it's an upgrade for us from Blood Bowl two to yeah, like, you know, from CRP to Blood Bowl twenty twenty. I think is an upgrade, basically.
Uruk Bai, I am um, before I went to Andy's tabletop event, I invested a lot of hours painting up a tabletop team for, to a really high standard. And now I'm debating whether I just sell them on because I'm probably never gonna use them in tabletop ever again. <laughs> 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 like my He-Man themed team as well, you know, I, I I really painted them up well and everyone was really complimenting me on the quality of my miniatures and yeah, I, I guess I could save them for um, Gym Con, but um, you know, rumour has it there'll be no Blood Bowl at Gym Con, so that suits me fine as well. <laughs> well, I think all we can do for Gym Con is, is Faulty's idea, we'll get a house in, in like, you know, for a weekend or whatever. And then, uh, and then we can just like you know we can set up a table, and then if anybody, if anybody wants to take on K Fog at Blood Bowl, they can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it definitely wouldn't be like you know the main focus of the weekend. Good God, good God, man, yeah. that's that's fucked up, isn't it? <laughs> you know, legal procedure for not putting elastic bands around your figures. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Kill me now, please. Honestly, just put me out of my fucking tabletop misery. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, magic stalling, stalling pretty well, isn't he? Um, not much happening. Keeping it very safe. Yeah, Shuffling I, I, forward. I can't say I'm a fan of Wood Elves stalling like this, but you know I get it. <clears throat> it's a choice, isn't it? It's a choice. It's, it's not a horrible choice by any stretch, just because I don't like it. It doesn't make it a bad choice. probably actually makes it a really good choice. <laughs> <laughs> I t honestly, I think it's six and two threes. If you bang it in, then okay, the high elves have got a really good chance of stalling out and making it two two. But then if you stall it out, there's a chance they turn you over and win. And if you stall it out, there's a chance they uh, they just score with this near natty as well. So like. Yeah. So really, you're looking at good odds of 2-2, two, two, whatever you do, except this way you've got a bit more danger of getting turned over. So maybe you should have gone for the, not necessarily 2-turn or 8-turn, but just, you know, bez around a bit and then the first chance you get to score without rolling any dice, just take it, you know. I think there's a lot to be said for that kind of drive sometimes. Do you play safe? Do you play rowdy? Yeah, you know. Um, also, the pressure's on being a playoff as well, isn't it? You know. True, true. Playoff nerves. Yeah, the classic. And now, the the that foul. Is dodging um, away. Lovely. Yeah, real big fan of that foul. Obviously, it didn't pay off, but any opportunity you get to foul a war dancer, um, I'm afraid, you know, in my universe, you have to take it. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Oh man, the high elf sound effects are fucking brilliant. <laughs> to be fair, that is the that is the good thing about the high elves is the sound effects. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> this is nice getting the two D with a catcher here. Provided it doesn't double one, no he doesn't. Alright, good. Oh, wait, it doesn't. Oh, is he move seven? Is he move busted this guy? No, he was three, four, five, six, seven. Why didn't he just go there and then 2 deem for sure? Uh, yeah. Like, I don't think it was particularly, like, it was worse at all to do, to move him up there. Well, it's not like you'd be exposing that war dancer at all. No. Because um, there was no, there was no, uh, I guess there is one high elf guard that could have maybe dropped in there, given the 2D on the war dancer. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. You don't. You don't. You don't. You don't, you don't have to sit by my little tackle, do you? <laughs> to be fair, it, I think it would have been like a bad blitz to blitz him with a mighty blow tackler. Yeah. But, yeah. It's a, yeah. I guess. I guess it, it would have sense. been. It would have been a lot of expenditure to try and get that hit, wouldn't it? I don't think it would have been the right choice, but maybe he was worried about that. Yeah. Yeah. It's 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 it's, it's fair enough to be. There we go, the guard comes around. And this is a pretty good defense, actually, from Kla Klang. Yeah. It's a pretty good name, isn't it? I wonder if he's going to blitz this super catcher now. Because he has got that guarder, so he could just plug in the guard. And uh... Makes me think of um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but that was Krang, wasn't it? it was, Not Klang. Yeah. 
Yeah. Just gonna switch to the other side here. Yeah, the old uh, wood elf switcheroo. Mm, makes sense. Like this is the this is like the more normal thing to do. But I I would have been really tempted to have just put in the guard here and blitz this catcher just because if obviously if you cast the catcher that can be GG, can't it? Whereas yeah, now scoring yep. on turn sixteen, he might just one turn back at you. Yep. Especially, you know, with the movement up, Agi up, high elf option, you know, yeah. one probably isn't that yeah, difficult, like is it? So, like, he's so good, this player. I would have definitely hit him. I would have definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, the, the reward is brilliant, isn't it? It, it would have been great reward. Yeah, and the risk isn't even isn't even that bad, right? But you put in your, put in your garter and then... Blitting yep. through, and you'd, you'd get a store down here, so you'd have an easier score on turn 16 than this. Like, this is maybe uh, has he got a GFI? Yeah, he's got a double GFI. See, it's so like best case scenario. Is it a GFI? Oh, finally, a little yeah. bit of elf blood spilt. Yeah, the mighty blow finally pays off on turn 15. <laughs> So, honestly, it's so disappointing. It really is. It really is. Yeah. Yeah. Been a theme of tonight, hasn't it? The, you know, the bash has been weak, hasn't it? From the games that we've commentated on. Yeah. Yeah. Although the, um, the dwarves got a bit beat up, didn't they? Which is always fun. Yes. <laughs> you know, no one's ever got a problem with dwarves being beaten up. Yeah, it was really nice. Oh well, I mean, this is see, this is the thing, right? Whereas if he got if he blitzed down the sideline and got caged up here, then he just bangs it in. Whereas now we've got, you know, he's got to make two GFIs and there's a full full bloody screen. Yeah. So there's pretty good defense here from Cl Clang. Agi War Dancer to the rescue, hand off first. Yeah, that's that's a good way of doing, it, isn't it? To be fair, you can you can beat away one of the um uh one of the banks here can't you one of the players yeah beat him off <laughs> that's what I was that's the word I should have used there obviously yeah <laughs> sorry I couldn't resist no that's no, fine <laughs> yeah good diagonal this is this is good Bl blitz this one so if you power him you can just dodge through the diagonal there yeah Oh yeah, if you push him, yeah, blitz him from there. Oh, so the wrestler's a bit shit, but he can still he can still just dodge through this guy, doesn't he? Doesn't even need to leap. Doesn't need to leap, yeah. You just use your dodge, don't you? And then I, well, even if the dodge fails once, you you still carry on, don't you? It's still a two plus. Yeah, he should have he should have. So he's done it wrong. He should have done one dodge, and then if yeah. he pops dodge, yeah, then yeah. he leaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he gets in. Good stall. Now, um, mm. sort of trying to stop. It's going to be difficult, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, how the hell do you stop a move nine? Well, he, he only needs one push, and he's got to stand firm, and he's got to sidestep. Yeah. So, it's maybe not that easy for Klaklan. We'll see. We'll see his one turning chops here. There's no side like crucially. There's no sidestep on this uh, this catcher. So while move nine and edge five and, and sprint show feet's incredible, there isn't there isn't a sidestep. So he's got to get like a genuine push forward somehow. Jim, so uh, right, obviously you've got to protect that wrestle, yeah. Um, but what you don't want to do is you don't want to allow a player to get behind that wrestle, do you? So no. would you put three elves behind that wrestle? The problem with doing that is then you. You give him the option to shut down the sidestep. Yeah, it's tricky, isn't it? It is tricky. But you, you'd have to shut down the sidestep twice, then, wouldn't you? If you then opted to push the sidestep, so which is a lot of expenditure, isn't it? A lot of manpower. So I wouldn't. I, I don't know. I'm 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 notoriously terrible, right, at one turn defence. <laughs> I'm just terrible at it. Um, but yeah, um, allowing that square at the back there to. To push that wrestle, I know he's got a guard there, so he's, you know, relying on it being a two D uphill. But I still don't hate that, you know, 
Mm, it's interesting. I don't know what the uh, what the best defense would be, and I don't know what the best offense would be either. So uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. And... Yeah. Touch break. But that's what he's doing, isn't it? Oh, he's um... he's just gonna punch him, and then we're all the way around here. Oh, really nice. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Running all the way around. Yeah, there. that was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So actually, um, in hindsight, the way I suggested would have been really terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely, and he gets to he gets a second a second push as well. Yeah. Yeah. Can you get a third push here? He could have done. Um, he could have done, couldn't but he? Now it's adding two pluses, so it's not worth it. He'll push him away because that's better than one of the dodges, isn't it? Yeah. Go straight through. <laughs> God, that hurts. God, that hurts so much when you play playoffs, <laughs> doesn't it? That laugh, it, it just cuts to your soul. It really does. It's the best part about it. <laughs> <laughs> I think the High Elves won the toss. They did. Very exciting. Do you just go for the one turn again? Probably, right? Well, depends on his setup, doesn't it? Mm. Um, if, if he does the extended chevron and you know the, the gaping hole setup, um, I'd really be tempted to go for the one turn. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd be really tempted to go for it just anyway, like this. Yeah, I, I would, I would go, I would set up for it. I would definitely set up for the one turn here. Like not all in on it, but I would definitely set up for the chance of it, you know. Because it's just, it's so, it's so consistent, isn't it? The sprint show feet in Edge Five, like it's so consistent. Yeah. And look how weak this is. He's just got the tree there. Like it, it's, it's so easy to just. Uh, to just do it, I would definitely, I would hundred percent go for this. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Perfect defense wouldn't have got oh, it. Oh, brutal! Absolutely. Oh, it's, well, I say brutal. Well, you just got to put side step. Sure, you put side step where that wrestle is, or the tree. Well, it does, I mean, it doesn't matter because he hasn't set up for the like. He's just set up to count the blitz, hasn't he? Which is completely fair. Is super Obviously, cl Clang is confident that he'll uh, he'll score here, so he just he just set up to count the blitz, which yeah, yeah, yeah. You no, know, fair play, fair play. But I think I would have just set up for the one turn and uh, got very pissed off by the perfect defense <laughs> and lost to the blitz. Maybe I'd have set up to not lose to the blitz. To be fair, like, but it's just hard, right, to keep the ball against the dancers, isn't it? So like this wrestle. Wrestle tackle strip. He's got nobody that can keep the ball against him. Yep. So I'd be real, real tempted to uh, bring it in for that reason. So now we're in a situation where um, are the Wood Elves going to be? Are they going to sit back and just hold position, or are they going to be super rowdy? I think they they've got to be rowdy, right? They have to be rowdy because if you don't. They've got to move nine edge five guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think Clang should have not allowed him to be rowdy by either going for the one turn or keeping the ball back and getting the move nine edge five in range and then delivering it to him the turn after. Opted to not go for Zach here this turn. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. I would have liked to have seen the ball sack. <laughs> Banter. Always disappointed when the ball sack doesn't appear. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact, um, me and Jim almost fell out because Jim almost banned me from the No Hero Clicks channel on his <laughs> Discord 
because he claimed that my um, Masters of the Universe miniatures were flirting with the no hero clicks rule, which I absolutely <laughs> disagreed with. Um, and we had a robust, we didn't have a robust play about it at all, actually. <laughs> And he went, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Pretty much like that. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I don't like this again. You see, what he could, again, what he could have done here is have filled in this slot and then have the guard here, yeah? And then, yeah. so, uh, like, uh, you need an H cage here. You need an H cage. And it's this is not safe at all. And I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, no Among Us, no Steve. Um, why do you even let him defend himself? Uh, yeah, easy, sir. <laughs> easy, mate. <laughs> <laughs> hey, not my first, not my first perma ban. Yeah, not my first rodeo. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, they were Masters of the Universe themed miniatures rather than Masters of the Universe themed hero clicks. But yeah, yeah, it would they were. Also, it would fuck me off having to play against it because I'd be like, which one's the elf? Which one's the fucking goblin? And it would just do my head in. It would absolutely do my head in, honestly, Calcium. <laughs> no, I, 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 I can appreciate that. And um, I, uh, yeah, elastic bands are a thing, which I never realised were a thing in tabletop. <laughs> I, I, do you know what? I think I would, as much fun as I had in my brief stint on tabletop with them if i was ever going to do tabletop again i'd go for more conventional figures i would paint mm. on the conventional team yeah just like, you know and I'm not... also put on put on the position I, I i don't agree with all this you know various rubber bands for their for their skills i, I would just say like what skill has that player got you know um but i do think you know yeah having a hero clicks miniature and saying oh well that's my war dancer yeah, that's a bit late yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit much for me. <laughs> Hello, the, whole, the, the whole tabletop experience was a bit much for me, Jim. Yeah, I, yeah, it is for me to be fair. Yeah. I, I did get pretty drunk with Dimmy though. It, meeting Dimmy was an absolute highlight, and yeah, songs were sung, beer was spilt the first night, and um, yeah, uh, obviously by the second night I just couldn't bear it anymore. I just, I just want to go home, and spend time with my wife, you know. But, um, <laughs> But yeah, it, it was yeah. Me, I, I would I would absolutely go to another one and probably not even play Blood Bowl. Just mm. go there and choose, you know. Nick Kong, I've I've been out of the loop sat for a few months, so I have no idea what's going on. Gadenik is coming to England um, when the oh. next T like uh, what is it UK TC's on. So in, it's in York, first weekend of April, there you go, can't wait. Yeah. So I guess I will go to that even though I won't be going to the UKTC. Yeah. Oh, Steve Motti, that was hilarious. I don't know know what this Swede's name was, but he properly squared. I was like randomly talking <laughs> to, um, uh, I was talking to Dimmy and I was talking to Duderino. And he got right up in my face and squared up to me. And Dimmy actually got a queer as fuck. Dimmy was like, oh, I'll fucking sort him out. What the fuck's he doing? I'm like, oh, it's all right, Dimmy. It's all good. It's all good. And I think I think Dimmy said something on the lines of, do you realise you're just about to make the biggest mistake of your life? <laughs> and no, it was, it was all, do you know, it was all just, the, I don't know. Um, I think he was pretty drunk this week, dude. But, um, it was very, very funny. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the night before we played any Blood Bowl. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. This is a bit shit this turn, isn't it, again? Yeah, I've. Uh, do you know what? He's got plenty of time, but I mean, it's running out, isn't it? Turn 21. Yeah, yeah. This is this is nervy play, isn't it? From the high elves. It's oh he, right, so he's finally got the ball on, on the in the hands star. of the key player, but but he's even more like weak against the the dancer, isn't he? Yeah, now? So he is. Yeah. I mean, he's not weaker to losing the ball, but he's he's weaker like in that you know he, he could just get fucking cast by him, couldn't he? Like you know, you'd much yeah. rather. He had to wrestle and he knocked you down with block. <laughs> like getting knocked down by the block is horrendous. I don't so. know I don't know why the wood elves aren't really attacking. 
the ball carrier. Bearing in mind that there's no sure hands, you know, and he's got a strip baller. Um, I, I don't quite know what he's waiting for. Well, he just he just wants to like make him stretch a little bit, doesn't he? That's the thing. He, like you know, if he, if he, they're not going to, are they? They're not going to. Well, he, he's going to have to. If he wants to score. Like that's the thing, isn't uh, yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're they're equal re rolls. So so like you know, he, I guess he, if he thinks he's not going to use a re roll. Then and he just keeps standing in front. Then maybe the high elves, maybe the wood elves would have used a reroll. And if the wood elves were down to two rerolls now, then the wood elves have really got a score. So yeah. you know, I think that was his kind of idea for the half. But yeah, now it's not looking so clever because now the high elves are making a move up the field. And uh, oh, the old the old high elf, the old high elf switcheroo isn't quite as strong, is it? <laughs> it's not. No, no, it's not. It's not, but you know, like anything can happen. Don't say it's over. Oh god! And this, this actually, you talk about them being stretched. This, this could be stretching them, couldn't it, by default? Because he's going to have two high elves that aren't really going to be able to assist this push. Yeah. And they don't have to get far into the like, like that's the thing. That, but then, if you don't get far in, then the dancer comes. So yeah, it's like. Yeah. It's an interesting. It's really interesting, isn't it? I didn't expect this to go to turn twenty-two. No. Oh well, a big, big three-two there to get him oh, out in yeah. front. Huge, actually. Huge. Has Dimmy not been around lately? I, is, is he been streaming? Is he? I haven't spoken to Dimmy in a while. To be fair. What so. happened was uh, <laughs> Jack Bull um, was playing a lot of Foxhole, uh, which had just like it'd been out for a long time, but like it had just come out like officially or whatever, and then uh, and then so Dimmy tried it, and uh, and yeah, Dimmy's got slightly addicted to Foxhole. <laughs> He's been right. playing it like twenty four <laughs> hours. <laughs> Fair enough. Steam says he's not played anything except Foxhole since the 8th of December. There you go. Fair enough. Fair enough. And do you know what? I'm I'm all about finding a new game that just takes up all of your attention. I, I'm I'm a real fan of that. Mm. So yeah, he's he's been foxholing a lot. Right. Is there a way through here? I quite like hitting this guy and going through there. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I think? I think another switch is on the cards here. I've... He's not doing it, is he? Oh, I don't oh, like this at all. No, I hate this. No. I hate this. And if no, no, Jim, not he, he would have been centralised, wouldn't he? Um, yeah, I mean, this is really good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You know, he could have potentially even got the sideline, but like, you know, all this could have gotten through and like made a cage here or something. But what, what the hell yeah. is he doing? But he can be chained back. Oh god, this is terrible. This is a mess, isn't it? This is really. He's literally. Oh, this is terrible. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, this is. This is dog to the dog shit. <laughs> I'm just wondering if there's like surfs on here. I mean, there is, but you, you've just got to push the ball carrier back, haven't you? That's the main thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's gonna surf him. No, no, he's gonna, he's gonna push him. Okay, I was gonna surf. I thought he was gonna surf him first and then push the ball back. <laughs> but he's just gonna, he's just gonna push the ball back first. That was weird. Like that was really weird. So there you go. So it, it worked. Just standing around in front of him a bit. That was really ro really ropey from Clacline. Now obviously just has to mega bunk because he doesn't get turned over, but he's going to kicks with a reroll disadvantage. Yeah. But and then there was the funny thing was there was the blitz there, you know, like there was the wrestler there or whatever. And okay, he'd have had to dodge past the tree, but it was pretty decent. He could have had like a cage here. He's also got a yeah. He's also got to defend against the. The leap of faith now, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. 
Yeah, it's Put literally it fill, up, fill all squares, isn't it? It's fill all squares. Yeah, again, he just he's just done it wrong, you know, because oh, he's, oh, he's so literally just... giving him an in, isn't he? Yeah. Uh, why oh, would you? Well. What? He failed. He failed his leap in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so we go penalty shootout. Blimey. If the game works. Usually doesn't. Okay, here we go. It's worked. Amazing. Well, wow, maybe I spoke too soon. There we go. Would he score? And a high elf throwing. That's cheating, isn't it? I think it's really shit. The, the honestly, the high elf throwing instead of kicking pisses me. They off. didn't give this a whole lot of thought, did they? No. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. So there's the guaranteed ones out of the way. Now who's going to be the Harry Kane? <laughs> Gets it through. Oh, tree man. Whoa, I thought the tree man would have missed for sure. Yeah, I thought the tree was going to spunk it there, to be fair. No, Cormac, 2 1 is guaranteed. It, they, they, re they reduce it by 1. Oh, he's missed. He's missed. Feels bad. I, 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 do you know what? I think on balance, it's probably the right result. I don't think the high elves played a great overtime there. Yep. I oh, think they played a pretty poor over, especially the last few turns were really nervy, weren't they? He, you know, you have to be a bit brave, don't you? You know, and yep. yeah, so I, I think it's probably the right result. Yeah, yeah, both rolled a one on the on the thing as well. Yeah, amazing. So um, that was it. What a uh... <laughs> a bit anticlimactic, Jim. But yeah. Hey. <laughs> Yep. Um, yeah, well, there you go. Congratulations to Magic. Commiserations to Quick Clang. But yeah, he, he won the toss in overtime. He had to make more of a push than what he did. Like, he just made no effort to get through, did he, at all? Um, Given that you only need to get two or three squares inside the LOS. One square really, inside yeah, the LOS. Yeah, literally one. And, <laughs> and, and not give a chain where you're player loses that square <laughs> yeah yeah that was but you know maybe it was chalice nerves and stuff you know who yeah. knows who knows um but thank you very much calcium it's been glorious having you on again casting these games with anytime fantastic. my brother anytime and uh thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic